Hi there. I have to get this adjusted here since we're looking outside. There we go. It's a little bit better. The plums have been drying for a few hours outside. And, ooh, they smell good. Now we're going to be putting them in the, in the liquor. Oh, by the way, this kimono, this cool kimono here, let's see if I can model it for you, turn it around like this, get some better lighting. This is the kimono that Tornado just ordered right now. So this is how it looks on guys with very long arms. It's supposed to be sort of like this, maybe more like like this, but it's kind of cool. I kind of like it. Neat. That's what it looks like on me. Not that I'm as good as my life. A model is my of course, but yeah, that's life. All right, let's go and get some more done. Saw this cool thing on TV showing recycling and, and stuff like that and because the summit's going on, right? And the prime minister's over in Germany now. So they're talking about, you know, carbon factor and ozone and everything like that. One of the things they were showing was in Germany, they're, uh, how uh, here in Japan, I think it's like 20% recycling we're working on, but in, in Germany it's 50 to 60%, which is pretty amazing. And then they showed this family and how they recycle and reuse and everything, and then they showed this one kid uh, how he washes his hands to save water, and the entire time the water was on, it was a total of five seconds. And they watched him, and he came in, turned it on, got his hands wet, turned it off, soaked them up just like this, turned it on again, rinsed his hands, and shut it off. And that was it, total of five seconds. And Mario and I were pretty impressed, and we both decided, hey, we're going to try and do that now, try and cut back our water, because water's really expensive here, it really is. Crazy. So anyways, I just washed my hands and I'm going to give them a quick shot in alcohol here. We're working on the second stage, by the way. It's very, very simple. Funny thing is, there's contradictory information. Uh, the box here, the instructions, which are written in Japanese, right here, uh, says to add 200 to 400 grams of rock sugar to 1.8 liters of um, alcohol and one kilogram of plums. And this is one kilogram, this is what I mentioned the other day. Uh, but, 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 the interesting thing is here, and I guess on the, the, sh the sugar company says to add one kilogram of sugar per one kilogram per 1.8 liters. So there's a little bit of a discrepancy between the alcohol maker and the sugar maker who wants to sell obviously more sugar but they do say here that the trick is to keep the sugar content down and that's a good idea because I don't like really syrupy liqueurs so what we're going to do is we're going to give it a try with 200 grams I have my scale here right here now, this is not a kitchen scale, this is a scale that I use for shipping kimonos and everything like that. Oh man, I'd die if I just decided to suck up one of these things. Anyway, let's go for, uh, well, let's say a little over 200 to start off because I have a little more than one kilogram. Alright, so now we open this up, and I don't really know how I'm going to open this yet. This is a mystery to me. It's something new. Um, I'm not quite, aha! There's the trick. That's it. That's how it works. So then we open this up, like that, and you smell the... Oh, yes! 30% mm, liquor. Alright, 30, 35%. So we're going to take the plums, these plums right here. All right, and we're going to put them in. Now, of course, plopping them in there is probably going to splash all over the place, but do I care? I don't care. I'll wash my hands in alcohol, so we're safe. We'll just do this, and then we'll put in some of the sugar here, like that. Add some more plums. They're actually quite warm because they've been outside longer than I expected, which might not be so good. Add a few more here, add this in here, add some more plums like this, 
put on the rest of the sugar. Maybe just a little bit more for good measure, you know. Just to add this up here. There we go. Okay. And close this baby up. Like that. And we will write the date down here on this area here. But this is what it looks like. And now we just wait. We do need to keep this in a place that's not in direct sunlight and doesn't have high temperatures, but unfortunately now um, it's going to get hot in the house and nothing we can do. I'll just keep it in a shady area, I guess. I guess I should tell you how long we have to wait. Um, and we have to wait for three months and then we can drink it. But, it says here, but uh, it's better to wait for a year. So we'll be waiting for quite some time. You won't see me drinking this on this video. Maybe in the future. This is cool. You know, we have Chinese quince liqueur, strawberry liqueur, apricot liqueur, lemon liqueur, fragrant olive liqueur, peppermint liqueur, blueberry liqueur, pineapple liqueur, and Robin, I'm going to send you this recipe right here on how to make pomegranate liqueur. So I think that you might be very interested in giving this one a try yourself. Well, you can see the instructions here. So, uh, if you're interested, let me know and I will tell you how to do it. Anybody else that wants to know how to make any of these other ones, just send me a quick message and I will uh, let you know and you can try. Alright? 1.8 liters of 35% alcohol. This is not methyl alcohol, by the way. No, that's rubby alcohol. This is ethyl alcohol. The drinking kind. Alright, I gotta go to the post office and mail off the kimono for uh, Linda and Vicky now because they have paid to PayPal. And uh, then I think I might go riding because it is beautiful out there. I like some sun. See you later.